This is not just Disneyland, this is real life. Hey, I'm AT. I'm down in Chinatown at a protest for the unethical treatment of animals, specifically dogs and cats. China's slaughtering cats and dogs alive and stuffing toys with it, putting it in trimmings of clothes and boots and shoes, and they're not disclosing to consumers what they're buying. It is 5,400 every single day. Whose necks are broken or electrocuted so that people can wear fur, we can have little bits of our toys, we can have it on our collars. And, and it's shameful, and these animals deserve more humane lives. Oh great, Let's, we're going to go talk with Bill, the organizer, right now. It's to bring attention, as you know, to the dog and cat fur trade in China, right. where two million cats and dogs are stripped of their fur, skinned alive, uh, for their fur. And it's a, it's a horrific, it's the worst animal abuse I know of, and I've seen it all. The cats are strangled mm -hmm. by this cord, they're about half alive, when their fur is taken off. The dogs, they, they pound them on the street till they sort of stun them. They cut their feet off, hang them upside down by their legs and strip them from the belly and the fur comes off over their head. Right, guys, we're going to bring a message now to the, to the tourists and to the merchants of Chinatown. If they sell one fur product that's a dog and cat in their car, it's $10,000 fine. Don't buy fur! Don't sell fur! So here we are in the mix, and uh, people are listening. They're actually reading and listening, which is great. No fur from China! Shame on China! Here you go, miss. Right now, cat and dog fur is banned as an import from China into this country. It comes in anyway because they purposely mislabel it. 50 bludgeon animals! One fur coat! 50 murdered animals! One fur coat! 50 slaughtered animals! One fur coat! There's a guy over there who doesn't believe in us though. The guy just threw ice at a few of the protesters. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah. drunk. <laughs> As was it? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You guys are aware they make fur coats here in America, right? Yeah. Make in America. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. Good job, LAPD. Yeah. 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 You know, but someone has to speak for the animals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's a good relief to do this. At least this uh -huh. is the most decent way. This is the most decent vehicle that we can save the animals. Right. It's hard. Boycott China, believe me, because I was in the mall and everything made in China, made in China. What do you think about this? Oh, thank you. <laughs> suffering is suffering. It doesn't matter if you're a coyote, a mink, a dog, a cat, a rabbit. It doesn't matter. It's suffering, suffering. All animals deserve respect. This is the worst animal abuse. Abuse is too kind a of word that I have ever witnessed in my 25 years. It is horrific. Thank you for coming and take all this literature. Thank you. And, Thank you. And here's a DVD for those who want. Eighty-five percent of the world's fur comes from China, where they're skinned alive for fashion. So go to furkills.org to find out what you can do.